Hello and welcome to this session. So in this circular video, we'll look into how we could represent a laser scanner in uh, ROS and Gazebo to visualize uh, whether there's an obstacle, with, I mean, where there's an obstacle, where there is no obstacle. So in order to detect this out, we could use a 2D laser scanner. Okay, so you can see the circular image. So these are the three obstacles which is present. I'll just draw it out. Okay, so these are the three obstacles and this is our laser scanner. Okay, so the laser scan rays is this particular blue color lines which you see represents the laser scan uh, rays. So based upon this, so these are the obstacles. Okay, so then after if you see in Arvis, so this are the uh, points which is detected by the uh, also like the laser sensor to represent where there is an obstacle. Okay, so wherever there is an obstacle, the I'll, I'll, I'll just draw it down. So where there is obstacle, you will get the circular points that is shown here. And wherever there is no obstacle, so there won't be any points that is uh, detected by the laser uh, scanner. So the laser scanner would basically send a ray. Okay, and if there is an obstacle. So the ray would be reflected back. So based on that, we could identify uh, if there's an obstacle or not. If the reflection is not occurring, so then there is no obstacle which is present. So you can see in terms of the gazebo. So this is the laser scan region. So here there is no um, rays which is reflected back. So based upon that, we could come to a conclusion that there is no obstacle. Okay. So we'll represent this laser scanner, we'll represent this rays, uh, we'll see how we could visualize this uh, circular rays in Arves and Gazebo and all. Okay, so that's what the entire objective of this circular video is. Okay, so I'll just stop all this. So as it is not required now. Okay, so let's stop it off. Okay, so first open up a terminal and then change the location to desktop okay so in the desktop we'll represent our folder where we're going to represent our laser scanner and all so let's create a new folder which is known as laser so let's change this to laser let's type in over here mkdir src okay so to uh, represent our source folder and let's then type in catkin make to create our package Okay, so package is the way, uh, I mean, like the folder where we would, we would represent our entire code. So let's change this to SRC. Let's list down the file. So you will see like catkin, like CMake list. So don't need to worry about it. So in order to represent the laser scanner, we first need to represent a package. So a package is basically a code which is going to perform some burglar task. So in terms of the package that I'm going to create here would be a laser scanner. So let's type in here catkin create underscore package and the package name. So this burglar code is used to create the package and the package dependencies. Okay, so you can just type in URDF. So URDF is a, a, a package which we, we would be using in order to represent the laser scanner or I'll say like the laser scanner dimensions and all. So you can just tap on enter. So it should create a package like this, which is known as laser. So we just open this up, SRC. You can see this circular package. So here, just create a new folder, which is known as URDF. So in this circular folder, we'll represent the laser, which I have shown you. I mean, like the black color box, which I had shown you, right? So that circular um, box would be represented. So that's the first open up uh, Anaconda Navigator. So I'll just clear this out. Let's type in CD and Anaconda Navigator. Okay, so that we could uh, easily represent our program uh, in Anaconda Navigator. It's uh, much more easier to represent the program. So I'll just open up Anaconda Navigator and then launch Visual Studio Code. Okay, so next create new file. So I'll just save this particular file. Click on save. So save it in desktop laser src laser urdf so in this particular location so i'll just save it as uh, let's say laser dot chakra chakra is the file format which we would be uh, representing 
Okay, so we would need to represent a file format known as chakra. So then after, let's type in over here robot. So name of the robot. Okay, so the robot name, I'll just represent, let's say robot. So some particular name. Okay, so then over here, we would need to represent uh, one more thing I forgot to mention. So we would need to first like represent the XML version. So let's type in over here, uh, XML version is equal to 1.0. Okay, so 1.0. Okay, so this is the XML version uh, that I'm gonna use. So let's type in, okay, so let's close this out. Okay, so once we have done with that, so we represent the robot, um, let's say like the robot's name. So next we will need to represent the robots, I mean like the uh, laser dimensions and all. Okay. So if you see with respect to the laser, so the laser sensor would be mounted on top of a robot. So let's say if you look into with respect to autonomous, car, autonomous cars and all, on top of the uh, car at the roof would be mounted, right? So similarly, so if you see here, we'll represent a base on top of then the laser sensor like this. Okay, so to represent this particular laser sensor, we will need to represent this base dimensions and also the laser sensor's dimensions. Okay, so after that, we could represent the laser's uh, parameters and all. So what is the distance, the laser scan area and various parameters and all. I mean, like the ray, um, like the ray distance, angle and all we will need to represent. All. So we'll represent that in the later stage. First, let's represent a base. On top of that, we could represent a laser uh, sensor. So let's type in here. First thing is the link. So link is uh, what we would define the, uh, I mean like the component. So if you want to define any component, right? So we could define it as link. So let's type in over here fixture, the link name. So then let's close this out. And then let's type in the location of the link. So I'll just specify this location. So pose is the location which uh, we will need to represent. So X and Y dimensions. So I'll just type it out over here. And the rotation. So in terms of X and Y, the rotation would be present. So I'll just keep the rotation to be zero. Okay, so let's close this out. Okay, so next after this, uh, yeah, so in order to represent an obstacle, I mean like a robot in gazebo. Okay, so gazebo is where, uh, I mean gazebo is a package which we, like sorry, a program, uh, or you can think of, think of it as a software which would be uh, representing our dynamic uh, characteristics of the environment, such as uh, inertial property, then the gravitational pull and various parameters like this. Okay, so in order to represent the robot or like the laser sensor in gazebo, we will need to represent the inertial parameters. So that's why I'll just type it out over here, inertia, the inertial. So in terms of inertial parameters, the mass value is equal to, so some random value we could just specify it out. So let's say 10. And then after the inertial parameters, so let's type in here inertia. So the inertia parameters are i, x, x. So yeah, so in terms of x, y, and z, we will need to like define uh, certain parameters. So I'll just like define random values. So then i, x, y is equal to, let's say zero. Okay, so then i, x, z is equal to zero. Okay, so then i y y is equal to, for example, let's say like 0 0.001. So some uh, very minute value. So then after i y z is equal to zero. So these are like the parameters which we will need to define with respect to x, y, and z. Okay, x, y, and y, z parameters and all we will need to define it out. So let's type in the final value, which is i z z. So let's say 0 0.01. So let's close this out. Okay, so then after let's close inertia. So that defines our entire uh, inertial parameters in terms of i, x, x, i, y, y, and all. Okay, so then the location, origin, 
RPI, RPY. So RPY would represent the rotation with respect to x, y, and z. So let's type in this as zero. And then the x, y, and z position is equal to, so for example, zero, x, zero, y, and 0 0.1 for the uh, z axis. Okay, so let's close this out. So this defines our entire inertial parameter. So let's type in inertia. So inertial parameter. So let's change this as, let's close this out. Okay, so that's the entire inertial parameters. So next in terms of uh, like, like visualizing the robot in so the laser scan scanner in gazebo. So we will need to define the, uh, I mean, so, sorry, to visualize the robot, I mean, to see the robots, uh, sorry, the laser scanners uh, data, uh, sorry, I mean, like the laser scanners, uh, would say the, like the dimensions and parameters, we will need to define it out, such as the radius of the laser scanner, or maybe if you see with respect to the base fixture and all, we need to define certain parameters. So now we're defining the fixture, right? So in order to visualize the fixture, we're gonna represent a visual section. So here, first things first, we will need to define the origin and RPY. So even if you have defined over here, we again need to define it here. So the same parameters. So next let's tap on enter. So then the geometry, let's close this out. So the geometry that we're gonna use is box. So in terms of a box, so the box dimensions. So let's type in 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So in terms of X, Y, and Z. So next let's close this out. And then finally geometry. So let's close the geometry. So that defines the geometry. So then after we could also define the material. Okay, I'm sorry, uh, not the material. Uh, yeah, I mean, so we have defined the visual, right? So we need to close the visual. So let's type in visual and let's close this out. Okay, so this completes our entire first link. That is the fixture. So once we have uh, like represent the entire first link, we need to close the link. So let's close this out. So from this purpose section until this purpose section, we have defined the first uh, fixture link. So once this is done, we need to represent our sensor. That is the laser sensor. So let's type in link. The same way like how we have defined previously. So we need to define the laser sensors or like the name sensor, let's say laser, laser sensor. So let's close this out. So similarly, let's define our inertial parameters. So I'll just copy this out and paste it over here. Okay, so here we could define the parameters such as the mass, let's say is one. So obviously like the laser sensor is, uh, we'll say like the mass will be lesser. So I'll just like define the, uh, that out is the, this particular value, let's say like one. So next let's change this X, Y, and Z. So then after let's represent our visualization parameters. So I'll just remove this space. Okay, so the uh, X, Y, and Z location in terms of uh, where exactly it is present. So I'll just change this X, Y, and Z. Okay, so here we're now gonna represent a box, we'll represent a cylinder. So let's type in cylinder. So cylinder, to represent a cylinder, we will need to represent the radius and the length of the cylinder. So I'll just represent the radius of the cylinder to be 0 0.05, okay? So then the length is equal to, for example, 0 0.1. So we need to represent between two double quotes. Okay, so that defines our uh, uh, visual parameters. So we, so that we could uh, view it out in, I mean, Arves and Gazebo, okay? So now let's close this particular link. Let's type in link. Let's close this out. So now if you see, we have represented the two link parameters, okay? So next after defining the each and individual link separately. So we need to join these particular links saying that the fix, I mean like the laser sensor is on top of the fixture. Okay. So for this particular part of it, we would say this as joint. So let's type in joint. 
So here we need to represent the joint name. So let's say the joint name is uh, laser fixture. So you can just give any uh, joint name, there's no issue. So let's say laser fixture. Let's close this up. And then let's type in the, I uh, will say like the location and all, so origin. So let's copy this out and paste it over here. So origin RPY and the XYZ. So as the laser sensor is on top of the uh, fixture, here I'll just change the X, sorry, the Y parameters, the Z parameter by 0 0.05. So in order to represent a joint, we need to represent the parent. Parent would be the first, uh, we'll say like the, the fixture. So the fixture would represent the parent. So on top of that, this laser sensor is present, right? So the child would represent sensor laser, okay? So here the parent, let's type it out as, sorry, parent link is equal to the link name, which is fixture. Okay, so then let's close this out. Okay, so yeah, so let's close this out. And then the child, child would be laser sensor, child link. So let's type in here the child link. So the child link name is sensor laser. So let's paste it over here. And let's close it out. So I didn't close this burglar section. Let's close it out. Okay, so that completes our entire uh, joint. So first, I mean, after that, we need to close the joint. So joint. Okay, so let's save it out. And, and also like in terms of joints, there are like different types of joints. So we'll represent this as fixed, which means that the laser sensor is fixed to the fixture. Okay, so let's type in fixed. Fixed type of a joint. So let's save it out and then, okay. So then after, if you see here, like we have started robot, right? So like the robots uh, dimensions, everything, you would need to define it out. So we have opened here robot, so we need to close it out. So the closing part of it, we would represent at the end. Robot. So let's close this out. So let's save it. And now if you open this out, you can see laser dot chakra. So this completes our entire representation of the robot. Okay. So we'll like before we could represent the laser scanners data, we'll represent, I mean we'll just like look at the robot in RVs and Gazebo. So let's create a new file which is known as launch. Okay, so in the launch folder, we'll create a like we'll type in a program which would be launching this sparkler, I mean, which would be running this sparkler code in order to see the data in RWiz and Gazebo. We need to write certain code. Okay, so we'll write it over here. So let's click on new. I'm sorry. Let's click on file, new file, and then save this out. So open launch and then type in over here the file name. Let's say RWiz dot launch. Arvis dot launch. So that's the program. I mean, like, that's the way location where we're going to represent our program. Okay, so let's type in here the XML version. So we need to represent the XML version. The XML version is equal to 1.0 and then encoding. So the encoding type, I'll just type it as UTF. eight and then let's close this out okay so yeah so then after in order to represent our launch file so just type in launch so here we're going to represent our uh, entire code in order to uh, see the robot in rvis and gazebo okay so first thing is like in order to see it in rvis so let's type in param parameter name so let's type in here robot description so the name that i'm giving is robot description command is equal to cat dollar okay so here i'm just typing the parameter which is known as robot description and the command as uh, yeah so cat find laser and all okay so this particular code is used to launch the 
I mean, like run this particular file that I've created, laser the chakra. So, okay. So this particular file would be executed so that we could view it in Arvis. So for that, we need to define command and then the location of the file. So here we'll just type in dollar, dollar, then bracket open, laser, I mean like the package name. So find laser package name. Let's close this out. And then let's type in URDF. So inside the package where the file is present, oh, here you can see laser package. So then the file is present in URDF and then the file name we will need to type it out. So URDF laser dot chakra. So that's our file name so that you can see it over here. And so next after that, we need to close this out. Okay, so that completes the entire code to launch it in Arvis. So next after that, uh, so if you see in terms of visualizing the robot, we need to launch certain uh, packages. Okay, so that is a robot state public robot state publisher and joint state publisher. So robot state publisher is used to view this uh, links in Arvis, and joint state publisher is used to view the joints in Arvis. Okay, so let's type it out. So I'll just type in node name is equal to joint state publisher. Okay, so next let's type in the package. So in within this particular package, which is known as joint state publisher, we're gonna, I mean like, we would launch that particular package. So let's type in join state publisher. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Join state publisher, the type of the package. Okay. So that completes in order to launch our joints. Okay. So it looks like I've made an error over here. Join state publisher. Let's copy this out. So let's save it out. So that creates the, um, I'll say, our output. So then after you can just remove this out. So let's tap on enter and let's type in param is equal to name is equal to use GUI. Okay. Uh, just type this as value to be false. So in terms of uh, this joint step publisher, right? So that is used to control the joints and rotate the joints and all. So we don't want GUIs. Okay. So some kind of a uh, uh, window to be open in order to control the robots, uh, like the robots uh, rotation and all. So that's why I'll just change this to be false. And let's represent this as closed. So let's type in over here node. So that completes in order to represent the joint state publisher. So next after that, to view the robot. So let's type in robot state publisher. Robot State Publisher and the package name is Robot State Publisher. So let's copy this out. And the type of the package is Robot State Publisher. So let's close this and let's save it out. Okay. So that completes our entire program for Robot State Publisher and Joint State Publisher. So next, in order to launch Arvis, we will need to type in the na node name which is Arvis and the package name. The package name would be Arvis. Arvis and type of the package is Arvis. So let's close this up. So then let's close launch file. So I'll just save this out. And in order to launch this out, you can just create a new terminal like this. So then after source the devil setup dot bash file. So just type in setup dot bash file. Okay, so this will um, like run some certain code so that we uh, like uh, I mean like the terminal will be able to identify this particular uh, files which we have created, right? So now to identify dot, we need to type in this particular code. So next, let's type in ROS launch. ROS launch will launch this particular RVS file. So then the package name where the file is present, rvs.launch. So let's run it. 
Okay, so it looks like there are certain errors. Okay, so over here I've made a mistake. So it's actually state publish of the type. Okay, so then after let's rerun it to see if there have we have any error or not. Okay, so it looks like there's still an error. So that is present. So we might have made a mistake in terms of representing the laser dot chakra files. So let's save it out once. And over here, it looks like it is not detected as XML file. 